Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you all. I want to echo what was said before me and what will surely be said again after me and thank each and every one of you for taking out time to show your support to our community uh, in, these, uh, in these difficult times. Unfortunately, I think this is a reminder that no one, no community, no people, no religion have a monopoly on terrorism and violence. Unfortunately, this is a human problem uh, and we still are working on this so many millennia later. Uh, I wanted to share some reflections on the uh, tragedy that took place. Um, I can't help but think how our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, would be troubled by this. In fact, I think this is very reminiscent of the very society to which he came. For those of you who don't know, he was born into a very tribal society where each group saw itself as an in-group and was threatened by an out-group. And the way in which each group saw ascendancy over the other were endless cycles of violence. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, being a lover of peace, was very troubled by this. And he worked to fight against this blind tribalism uh, because they were the tribe of so-and-so and the tribe of so-and-so by introducing a new phrase. It's the tribe of Adam, that we are all Adamites, so to speak. So the human family should trump this. Um, and I believe that this is a, a framework by which we can find healing, God willing. That when we remember that we all come from the same two parents, uh, that we are, there is no in-group and no out-group, we are all one group, God willing, great things can happen. Unfortunately, those two parents have two famous children that we've heard quite a bit about. Cain and Abel. And so we see that this is a human problem when one is threatened by what they see as the ascendancy of the other, what the human being can do. But the Quran's narrative of Abel, who it heralds as the moral, uh, the epitome of the moral response says, if, even if you extend your hand to kill me, I shall not extend my hand to kill you. For I fear God, Lord of the worlds. And so therein we have, through that lesson and the life of the Prophet Muhammad as, as Muslims, uh, the answer to this problem, which is these cycles must be broken. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, worked within his context, the way his brethren of the prophets from before, whether Jesus or Moses or Noah, worked to break these cycles through forgiveness. When he was given victory over the people who had fought him tirelessly for over 20 years and he had the upper hand in terms of the power, he asked them, what do you think I will do today? And they said, you will do what victors do, which is to, to kill, to slaughter, to, to take vengeance. And he said, no, today is a day of forgiveness. I say to you what Joseph said to his brothers, there is no blame upon you all after Joseph's brothers did this. And so I feel like this would have troubled the Prophet Sallallahu peace be upon him, very deeply. That here we have the human family um, still not healing from these wounds. Uh, and so we have, to, uh, we have to promote what, I would, what has been called by one of my teachers a social mercy movement. And these cycles have to be broken with forgiveness and compassion. Even those who fight us, we have to see them with, we have to view them with compassion. One of the, um, one of the victim's husbands today, I watched a video, an elderly man whose wife was, was slaughtered by this man, said that he already forgave him and that he loves him because he knows he must have had much trauma and maybe he wasn't loved as a child. And maybe this is what pushed this man to that. He does this in the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and all of the prophets. So we have to see humanity in all. There is no in-group, there is no out-group. And I want to, again, thank all of you for coming here today, our brothers and sisters in humanity, uh, to come and show us the great side of humanity. These tragedies have a silver lining, and we're looking at it right now. We come together, there is much beauty within us, there's much beauty in the world. Uh, and this reminds me of the great quote of Martin Luther King, in which he said, Darkness will not drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate will not drive out hate. Only love can do that. May God fill our hearts with love, compassion, and forgiveness. 
May he give the families of those affected and all of us, because it is our family, the patience and the wisdom to learn from this and the courage to heal the darkness and the pain in this world. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.